All right, so some of you may be aware that the new TrueCut machines come with this uh, new program called Cut2D from a company called Vectric. Vectric. And it's it's really nice software, and but it may be different than other CAD or art packages that you're familiar with. So I thought I would uh, use this example of how to work with text in uh, in Vectric. So um, I've just created this, uh, you know, uh, the text that you see on the screen here. And, um, you know, just by going up here to the text tool and typing that out. And so we have this text uh, called Rustin and it's a person's name. So you got different ways that you can work with text. You could, you could cut this out as a positive so that you could attach it to something else or you could have it drop out of, as a negative. And, you know, it's kind of two different philosophies that you would use to, to work with that. But the first thing you need to do before you can really start doing much with it, depending on, you know, how exactly what you're trying to do, is you have to uh, use the um, this feature here called Convert to Curves. And that basically turns it into a vector so that you can work with the individual letters and work with the nodes, you know, as you need to. So that's what the first thing we're going to do is convert to curves. Now you can see it changed and I can get at each individual letter. So if I click on that one, you know, click on that one, I can get, I can get to the letters. So um, the first thing that you could do to kind of weld these together is, you know, it's, it's one option for you is to just click on that. And, you know, you can see I've got that one highlighted and I'm just going to use the left, the left arrow key and start kicking this over to the left until it just overlaps the other letter and if you zoom in even further you can see how much it's overlapping by so you see we got a little overlap there and once you get those two overlapped um, you want to pick the outside of the R and pick the U and then if you come over here to the left you'll see we got a cup we got really three options that we can work with so I can never remember exactly which one is which I think used it long enough to know for sure but i think it's this one so let's click that and you see that it welded those two together all right so you could do the same thing with this one you could bring it over and get that to touch now that may not be enough here you see that's barely touching we may need more of it to hold it together so again so what you want to do is click on what you have so far hold the shift key down and then click the S and then come over here to the weld. And now we have that welded together. You can see we're starting to get Rustin, you know, that's going to cut out as a positive and keep itself all together. So you would just complete the rest of that. So I'm going to, I'm going to back out of all this. Control Z my way back out of it. All right. So now we, uh, let me convert that back to, because I lost my, uh, um, all right, so we're back to uh, converting, uh, or back to, to vector here. All right, so um, the, so that's one way to do it. The other way, you, you might want to, you know, do a split monogram. So let's look at how to do that real quick. So I'm going to just draw a rectangle down here, and I'm not going to be crazy particular on how, how I'm doing this, but I'm going to draw another one up at the top. And if you wanted to make these perfect, you know, what you would do is, so let me close that. Let me delete this top one right here. So I'm going to take that one. I'm going to, I'm going to copy, I'm going to copy and paste it. Copy and paste. Now I have another one. So I know it's going to be the same dimension as the first one I just created. And if you want to get, um, you know, if you want to get all this centered up left to right, let me just show you that real quick. So you're going to, uh, I'm going to first select all these letters here. And I'm going to group them together. So group those objects. And then I'm going to take that and the grouped letters and that by holding the shift key down and clicking those. I'm going to come over here to this alignment tool and we are going to center those up right to left so now we have you know everything symmetrical and everything centered up so what you want to do on this is we're going to raise this text up a little bit and you can see down at the bottom we need all those letters to to come down and uh 
and intersect that. You can see we don't quite have that yet. So I'm going to uh, raise this up here. And now we have it intersecting at the, at the bottom. So let me do that at the top as well. And uh, let's see if we have it. Yep, we, we got it there. Let's see if the R is. Yes, and we do. All right. So now what you want to do on this is I'm going to ungroup these so we can work with them individually. And I'm going to pick the R and the U, the S, the T. And you see I have the top letter uh, or the top bar selected. So let me close that out. And I'm going to try the weld. I can't remember if it's a weld or not. Yeah, there you go. There's the weld. So we got we have that one connected. And once you have that one, you can hold the shift key down and pick the bottom one and weld that one in as well. Whoops, we lost. So you saw that drop out right there. See that? Let me do that again. So when that happens, whoops. So we're just undoing that. So to get that not to drop out, we're going to deselect it so that it doesn't try to weld that in there. So you notice that the center of the R and the center of the O are deselected. So now we're going to weld it. All right. And now we have, well, we lost something right there too. I'm not exactly sure what we lost there, but it's the same kind of thing. You know, we had something selected. Let me just undo it and see what we got. So um, now, there we go. There's our rust and connect it all together. All right, so now let me show you one last thing um, on this. And uh, let me get back to separate letters. So we want to delete these. Now let's just say that we wanted to make this as a, um, as a sign. And we wanted to, uh, let's so let's, we're going to come and draw a rectangle around this like this. And again, I'm not I'm not making that perfect. So you, you can adjust that, tweak it, round the corners, whatever you want to do. Um, you know, here we could do, you know, radius corners. So now we have radius corners there. All right. So now we're going to have um, this drop out of the out of the center. Let me just make it a little bit bigger so I have a little bit more perspective on it. And um, let me get it centered up in here. So I'm going to uh, highlight that again and uh, all right, so we need to convert that to curves. Uh, oh, it's already grouped. Okay. So, so I'm going to highlight these two and I'm going to come back over here to this and I'm going to grab that and that. So now we have it in the center. So if we if we cut this out as a sign, the center of the O or the the R here is going to drop out, and you're going to need to put a um, you're going to need to put a bridge in there to keep it from dropping out. So you could draw a square down from this way, or you could draw one in from the edge, or you could draw it in the center right here. But let me show you that. So um, so I'm going to draw a rectangle and you know, an eighth inch bridge is going to be plenty for what we're trying to do here. So uh, the width or the height on it, I'm going to make it 0.125 right here. And I'm going to say apply. All right. And I'm going to zoom in. We'll raise that all the way to the top. So let me show you, uh, let me show you a different uh, so we could do the same thing we did earlier where we weld it in there, but let me show you the, uh, the trim command. Sometimes the trim command, you know, is handy to use. So you see the little scissors right here. So we're going to use the trim command. And if you zoom in, um, we are going to want to trim that. Why well, my trim command not working? To make the trim command work, we're going to have to go and ungroup this so that it can get to the individual contours. So again, go back to the trim command. And remember, I'm, I'm new at this as well, so just bear with me here. So we should be able to start trimming this away. So we know we want that. We don't want that. We 
don't want that. And then right here, you can see we got a little, we could have adjusted that up a little better. Um, but that's pretty good, you know, and if you wanted to tweak that, you, you could go into node editor mode and, and tweak that a little bit. So now we have the center of our, our, of our R is going to stay intact when that drops out. So there you go. There's three, four different ways to work with text. Hopefully this was helpful to everybody, and we will see you on the next video.